Hi, I'm Brittany Harden, I'm contestant number one, and I'm sponsored by Mel's Towing. I mean, I'm a boots and jeans kind of girl. I don't get dressed up that much, but I want to prove that other girls that come from the country can be a queen. Hi, my name is Casey Davis. I am contestant number two, and I'm proud to be sponsored by my friend Adam and Tailgater Sports Bar and Girl. I want to show little girls and maybe older girls, just everyone, that great things come in all packages. For me, it's a small package, but everyone is great in their own way. I'm contestant number three, Molly Flynn, and I'm proud to be sponsored by Five Seas Care. I would like to be Carnation Queen because it's something I've always aspired to become. Uh, I've, I've been coming to pageants here at Alliance High School for the Carnation Days in the Park since I was young. Hi, my name is Paige Felger. I'm contestant number four, and I'm very proud to be sponsored by Tana Real Estate. Because I love my community and I love where I've been brought up and I've been in practice so heavily, I want to be able to make a lasting impact on other people and show people that this is a wonderful city and be a positive role model for young girls. My name is Maddie Vance. I'm contestant number five, and I am sponsored by Premier Health Associates. Uh, a lot of the goals that I've already accomplished are amazing for someone who just graduated, being able to be on the fire department and do all sorts of stuff. Um, it's just, I want to be a role model to little girls that you can really do with your thing. My name is Caitlin Stump. I'm contestant number six and I'm sponsored by Uptown Auto Service. I would like to be Carnation Queen just because it gives me the opportunity to represent the city in which I grew up. Uh, my name is Caitlin Cutler. I'm contestant number seven and I'm sponsored by Angelic Touch Massages. When I was little growing up, I always watched all the beautiful girls and I just wanted to be like them and represent the, the great city of Alliance. I'm Molly Hooper, I'm contestant number eight and I'm trying to be sponsored and employed by Handles Ice Cream. The Carnation Queen and their court have always been an inspiration to me as a little girl and hopefully this year I can get back and maybe be an inspiration for the other young ladies in the community. Hi, I'm Brianne Bryant, contestant number nine, and I'm proudly sponsored and employed by Texas Roadhouse. Ever since I was a little girl, I was always a lot taller than my cousins and my friends, and I always asked my mom, why do I have to be taller than everybody? And she said, well, God made you tall for a reason, that's for you to be a leader. I am Danielle Kemp, contestant number 10, and I'm proud to be sponsored by the Negro History Club. You probably see me in the library reading about science or running around outside with no shoes on because I'm just not really girly or anything, and I just want to be a role model to other girls that are like me, that you can do anything you put your mind to. My name is Samantha Hudson, I'm contestant number 11, and I'm proud to be sponsored by Nails Bibleism. I want to be Carnation Queen because several years ago, I saw my sister Jessica in the pageant, and since then, I've been going back to the pageants and watching, and I really looked up to her, and I always wanted to be somebody that could be looked up to. My name is Carolyn Pete, and I'm contestant number 12, and I'm proud to be sponsored by MC Employment. I believe that I can make my city proud and be a representative of this community. Um, my name is Chelsea Ellis, and um, my sponsor is Alliance Alliance Club. I would like to be Carnation Queen because I would like to be a role model to the younger girls and let them know that well, no matter what they do, they can do it. My name is Julia Dubai, and I am proud to be sponsored by Howard University. I want to be Carnation Queen because I think that the process of learn, like knowing about the girls and then also going to the events and learning about the community is great. My name is Desiree Ernjek, I'm contestant number 15. I'm very proud to be sponsored and employed by the Alliance Grinders Above and Beyond. Because this is something that isn't in my comfort zone and I feel like if I was able to become queen, I'd be able to show that even if you chase your wildest dreams, if you at least go for it, you'll be able to achieve that. My name is Taylor Cress. I'm contestant number 16, and I'm proud to be sponsored by my grandfather's restaurant and Alliance's very own, Paula Norris. I want to be the 2013 Greater Alliance Carnation Queen because I feel I would be a very positive role model and a great ambassador for this city. This city has truly given me so many opportunities to grow as a young lady, and I would be honored and humbled to be able to give back to the community that has truly given me so much. I'm Maisha Weatherspoon, contestant 17, and I am happily sponsored by Wally Armour. Something I've always wanted to do. I love seeing the queen and her court on the float. It's just, they're beautiful. My favorite thing that I've done so far this summer is probably the food pantry, because I 
I was able to bring in a lot of necessities and see local families get a lot of things that they needed and that meant a lot to me. My favorite event has been the food pantry because it was a little bit of everything. It was interactive and you got to give back to the community as well. And Esther ties a lot about self-confidence and inner beauty and so it was really encouraging. Um, my favorite event so far this summer was going to Hot Pods and making the bases for our sponsors because it's great to give back to them since they're doing so much for us and I love being artistic. My message for the Queen this year is to just take everything in as greatly and as deeply as you can because it goes by so incredibly fast. So make sure you capture every moment and don't let a second go to waste.